Right, well here's the Solar DMM once again and uh, this time I've got it hooked up to the LAM and LAM is L-A-M-B, the large array of miniature bulbs and you can see it's a great long line of them. I've got a few uh, switched on up at the end there um, but at the moment you can see that on the display we've got quite a low wattage coming uh, from this solar panel, 3 watts, 2 watts. Um, I'll just reset the display. Okay, so you've also got the peak value there of 3.7. Now if I start turning on some of these high wattage lamps, let's do these ones here, you'll see that that raises the uh, power up. We've got 11 watts now. Let's turn on some more. These are the 3 watt lamps. So we've got 16, 17 watts. Let's turn on even more. And now they start to go dim because I've overloaded it. So the wattage has actually dropped back. We've got 14, 13 with a peak of 17.6. Let's put more of these things on. And of course now what's happened is there's much too heavy a load. The voltage has dropped way down to 4 volts. There's a healthy current going through it, but the watts has dropped way back. So by adjusting the number of columns of lights that are on and sort of tune the load to uh, get maximum power out of the solar panel and that's what this thing's for this is for trying to get maximum power um, it's a sort of variable DC load manually adjustable I suppose you'd call it uh, I know you can get these things as uh, sophisticated instruments but I didn't just want a LCD and a dial I wanted something that was visible and looked interesting which I think this does and uh, that I could tune to get maximum power out of the solar panel. Well, The next stage is I'm going to uh, create a simple XY point plotting routine which can actually trace out the IV curve of the solar panel and present it on this display and that's, uh, that's the thing I'm going to work on next.